look in the camera and you need to tell them what you did with this dog, what happened and point to where you buried it. On January 17th, a small team supporting dog owner Christopher Melendez went out into the desert asking unthinkable questions that brought devastating answers about the fate of his family pet. Well, was babysitting this dog and uh, we got a fucking dog over the time. The truth about Teddy did not come easily from dog sitters Jessica Ramos and her husband Ivan Lazama, who had multiple dogs in their care on the day Teddy died. They had originally said that the dogs were lost. Some of them went to a park, one came back, and Teddy never did. Stay. Michelle Hood is part of Las Vegas Doggy Task Force, a group of volunteers who track and rescue lost dogs. She's also a dog sport trainer and licensed insured pet sitter. Michelle says after a series of lies and hours spent searching for Teddy, she went with Melendez to confront the dog sitters at their home. Michelle made an audio recording of the confrontation. Passed away. What happened? He, he got in a fight with one of the smaller, with one of the smaller dogs at the same time as him. Well, hold on, back up. I thought he was missing. No, he wasn't missing. So you lied about that? Yes, I did. I'm so sorry. Through just, you know, a bit of questioning, she had finally admitted that uh, she didn't lose our dog, that uh, in, in her care, she was also taking care of a few other dogs, and that my dog, Teddy, had gotten to a fight with one of the other dogs. And I guess the dog attacked him too much and he, that's why he was dead. Why did she take well, me to the vet? She was on he was her way. Way. What kind of injuries were on the dog? It's a spiral. They demanded to know what the sitters did with Teddy's body. Lazama led them here. Just for the record over here is Lake Mead Boulevard on the way out to the lake on the side of the berm just before or just after mile marker 147. We first met Mike and Jody Leishman. Very similar scenario. I've had four pictures sent to me today. During a 13 investigation in November. That is the nightmare that you hope never happens. The Leishmans hired pet sitter Angelica Strickland to care for their dog, Louie, when they went on a family vacation. While Chris found Teddy's sitter on Instagram, the Leishmans found theirs on the Rover app. Less than a day into their vacation, I got a text message that said Rover is involved, that there had been a domestic fight at the house, and that my dog was missing. And he's never been found. But because of Louie, the Leishmans are now entrenched in the lost dogs of Las Vegas community. So far, they've located 15 dogs that were either reunited with their owners or rescued while roaming the desert. And Mike was able to help Chris get real answers. Got in a fight. This dog was obviously injured very bad. So then what did you do? Tell us what you did after you found the dog. It passed away and uh, I freak out, I don't know what to do. And, and uh, then I'm bringing him over here. After about two hours of searching, they found Teddy's body. I won't deny that I fell to my knees and cried. Michelle called the Bureau of Land Management's Law Enforcement Division because this area is federal land. Rangers responded, temporarily detaining Lazama while searching him to make sure he wasn't a threat. Lazama was not arrested, but did receive two citations for illegal dumping and removing or destroying personal property. As 13 Investigates has reported, dogs are considered property in the state of Nevada. Now, Chris is focused on additional accountability. Finding justice for Teddy. He filed this Henderson police report along with screenshots from Ramos's business. On January 19th, Henderson Business Licensing issued a stop work order because in Henderson, you can't run an animal business out of your home. The city attorney's office is currently reviewing three criminal misdemeanor charges submitted by animal control. The charges include animal establishment violations, exceeding the number of animals permitted, and failure to provide adequate food, water, or veterinarian care. Animal advocates hope that after Louie and after Teddy, all our local governments will move to better protect animals with specialized licensing, training, and oversight for pet-related services. We gotta stop. How many times more does this have to happen?